Hey guys, it is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. We're going to start a fun one today. We're going to learn how to play Don't Cry by Guns N' Roses. So this video is going to take care of all of the, you know, the rhythm guitar parts, all the riffs, that part I just played, all the clean and uh, distorted rhythms, and that fun little uh, clean little lick at the end. So we're going to do that too in this video. The next video will take care of the solo, so you got to wait for that. So let's start here, this opening um, intro that I just played. Now it's just based around a few simple chords and it's pretty much the verse of the song as well. Let's start here though with just a, we're tuned down a half step, mind you. So make sure you every string on your guitar is tuned down a half step. And then you'll be able to play along with me and the album. So we're gonna start here at the third fret on the low E string. Then grab an A minor chord. So we're gonna have just the A string to the D string. You're gonna kind of pause on that A string when you hit it. Then pick the D and the G. Then come up to the top, the high E string, upstroke, up on the B, up on the G. Then you can have lift up this finger and have an open D. So that is gonna give you a chance to jump to this next chord, which is the D minor chord. So grab that chord next. So so far we have this. So as that note's ringing, you hit that open D with a, an upstroke, grab the D minor chord. Now we're gonna start with the open D again with a downstroke. You're gonna once again pause on that note. So we're just gonna pick across those four strings. D, three, two, one, two, three. And then you're gonna jump down and hit the open A string as the last note. So we have this. All together. All right, now hold a G major chord. When you hit that open A, grab that G major so you can now play. Now here, there's no pausing. You're just gonna straight eighth notes. So we're gonna be picking, um, actually probably 16th notes. So we're gonna just play a full G major chord and pick the 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd string. And then upstroke starting on the high E string. The 1st string, 2nd, 3rd, and then that open A again. So we have this. Alright, now we have this little descending thing. Alright, so that's just um, one finger here at the 3rd fret on the 5th string. Pick the fifth string, followed by the open D and the open G. I go down, down, up there. Then the same thing, just now the second fret on the A string. And then three, two on the A. Then you're back to the A minor chord. So the intro here, you're back to the A minor and the D, then when you get to the G the second time, you're gonna pick across just the, four, uh, the first four strings. Is it the first half of the G, and then that, that's two, three, four on the low E to the A power chord. Then we start the actual verse, the vocals come in. Now that is pretty much just, that part repeated. Just the A minor, D minor, and G major sections. You don't, you don't um, just kind of worry about that. That just happens in the intro. So you're going through that for a while, after, just through the verse. Now going to the chorus, we have this. So it's just play the three zero zero, then two, and then open A string. And as you play that open A string, so you're gonna go grab the first chord of the chorus. Let me play the chorus for you real quick.
All right, so now this song has a lot of guitar layers that are going on all the time. So it'd be, you know, impossible just trying to get every single guitar part, even from the, the first verse that we were playing. I'm trying to just do the basic main part that's going on at all times. And that all the little licks that are playing, they're kind of doing guitar layers, um, are based around. But if we wanted to do every single lick, you know, it would be, you know, we'd be waiting for the sequel to Chinese Democracy before that actually got finished. So uh, let's just sit here and just, we're gonna play this F chord starting. Now, I'm just gonna show you these three chords of the, it's bass around. You have to play this F like this, kind of the Jimi Hendrix way. Uh, the reason why is because there's a lot of, a lot of uh, hammer-ons from open strings. So if you did the regular bar chord, it's not gonna work. So you gotta really work to try to get these notes down in the, uh, like an F chord here on the top five strings and then bring your thumb over and grab that low F. Now a lot of times you'll have him doing, hammering on the open G to the second fret on the G. Sometimes the hammer on will be on the, on the B string. So like I said, they're just kind of random with it. Then they go to a G chord to an A minor. So that's the three chords of the chorus. Now he does have some fills that he does on that A minor chord. Now what's going on there, he does their variation, so it's all happening on the B string pretty much. It's just hammering one to three, sliding up to five, back to three, back to one. Now, every time he, between notes, he hits that open high E string. So you kind of really have to just do your own thing with it. If you know the song well enough, you know where to put it. Later in the song, they just... Now it's just going one, three, five, up to eight on the beat, and back down. Now to end the course we have. So that little line is just on the, uh, the four middle strings, the C major chord, picking from the fifth string all the way across to the second. Now pick the same strings, but this time just have your second fret here on the low A, I mean on the A string. Open D and G, and the first fret on the B. Same thing on an A minor. Then, basically it's the bottom half of a G chord. We're just basically gonna have third fret on the low E, second on the A, open D and G. So it's the same picking pattern. then back to those three chords. And then we're back to the verse again, back to the... Now this second verse is the same, except the ending is the same as the ending of the chorus there. That has that little line at the very end of it that takes you back into the second chorus. All right, so during the second chorus, the distortion kicks in and um, the, just the, the gain really kicks in and it leads us into the guitar solo. So I'm gonna play that second half of the chorus here with a more distorted tone and then uh, into the rhythm for the guitar solo as well. So here we go.
All right, so let's take a look at that real quick. Just mostly just simple bar chords. We're gonna start with the bar, um, sorry, power chords. We're gonna start with the power chord here at the fifth fret on the A string. So you can just play that like that if you want. I'll use like my little finger flip in the power chords. Then back the first finger up to the second fret. Leave that up top. Just, just two here on the A string, five on the D. A power chord. Then we have a kind of an open G power chord. So that's just played as like a G major chord, but the fifth string is muted with the bottom of your your index. It has a little bit bigger sound than the regular power chord. To so the F power chord, the first fret of the low E string. Back to that G power chord, and then all together that ending of that chorus. All right, now during the solo, we just have, we starts with this D power chord up here at the fifth fret on the A string. The F power chord, G, A power chord, just the, third fret there on the low E to take you back down to the F power chord. So it really rotates between this F, G, and A most of the time. Now this time it goes F, G, open E, F, back to the F to stay on there, G, and A. So for the most part, it's just going F, G, A, but it starts here with the D chord and does some, you know, the F, G, A a few times, but it also throws an open E in there. So I'll play through it one more time since you know it's just basically F, G, and A power chords or this D opening or that little E power chord that happens in there. So here we go. So we got this. Um, Alright, so from here we go back to a clean tone and we hit the bridge. Now the bridge is using a lot of the chords and picking patterns that we did earlier. Let me play through it real quick. Here we go. All right, so we're basically starting with the D minor picking pattern. To the G. Remember that G ended with that open A? So it's just like in the chorus, I mean verse. So that's just, it ends with the A minor. And they'll do some fills in the A minor. Then back to the same chord. So it's just things that you saw earlier in the song. Uh, once again, we kick it back into distortion. We have that little same progression that ends um, pretty much the chorus the distorted part that we did earlier, and then on this whole outro section, the uh, rhythms for that. So let me play through that real quick.
All right, so it's a lot of things that you saw earlier um, for the chord progression underneath the solo. So we're gonna start here with just a that same progression that led us into those chords before. A lot of times now here for this outro section, it's F to G power chord to the A. You gotta really know how this sounds because they mix it up a little bit, but if you really know what the song sounds like, it should be pretty easy to follow along with. Then after that, again, F, G, A. F, G again. Now this time, do that same descending progression back to the F. Now from here, I start playing the G's with the open G, get a little bigger sound. Now this is just going between F and G, down to the E power chord. Uh, then to the F power chord, and then start back over between the F and G, just let them ring. Three times there. And then you're gonna end it with the C chord there. So let me play through that one more time slow so you can play along. I know it sounds confusing, but if you're hearing it with the vocals and that outro guitar solo, it should be pretty easy to follow along. It's just a few basic chords. Here we go. Alright, so that's for all that's it for all the rhythms and stuff. Or just real little fun part here. We'll learn that little outro little lick that slash plays. Uh, just to kind of um, give you something to play with before the solo video. So let me play through it real quick. Alright, so we're gonna start here on the twelfth fret on the high E string. A couple times. The 13 a few times on the beat. Kind of kind of release the pressure and mute them after each note. Back to the 12 a couple times. 13 on the beat. And then 13 on the high E. Alright, then slide into the 14th on the G. Then playing the 13 on the high E. Then 12 on the G to 12 on the high E. And same thing, but on the 10th fret there, from the G to the high E string. Then 9 on the G, 8 on the high E. Then hammer 5 to 7 on the G. Then a quick 5 to 7 hammer on the D string. Back to the 5 on the G. And then you're going to pretty much just hammer 6 to 7, and that's the end of it on the A string. If you want, you just end it on that C note, which is really the harmony right that's going on, that it moves to. So we have this. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the solo lesson. See you then.